in today's video, I'll be sharing some behind the scenes insights on how I came up with my 2023 Christmas foyer theme. Not only will I be sharing tips on how to achieve the look, but if you stay tuned until the end of the video, you'll get some exciting details on my upcoming 2023 12 Days of Christmas series. So if you're ready to make your foyer a festive masterpiece, let's go. Diving right in with my first tip, let's talk about choosing the right garland. When you're thinking about designing your Christmas foyer, selecting the right garland is a crucial step. Consider the overall aesthetic you want to achieve, whether it's a traditional look or a rustic theme, or in my case, a jewel toned and nature inspired design, the garland will set the tone. This year I'm using a brand new garland. This is the glistening Christmas cordless garland. Say that three times fast. Um, compliments of my friends at Grand and Road. I love how it complements my tree and the glistening elements combined with that soft, warm white LED light create a dazzling effect. And my favorite part is that it's cordless and battery operated for easy placement and arrangement in the foyer. So let's take a few minutes to see how I pulled the layout together over the mirror. All right, so I've got this garland um, styled evenly over this arch shaped window. But you see how this side of it is kind of falling out um, because it's just this, it's a heavy, like dense kind of weeping willow type fern. So while that's fine, I don't want the design to look that way. I want them to all be kind of flowing in the same direction. So there's a couple things you could do. One, you could come through with like a clear, uh, like a fishing line and just tie little, little knots around those to tighten them up. But what I'm gonna do instead, and I think I may have done this with my garland last year, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an uneven garland lay across, over the mirror. So I'm gonna start it like up here, and I think that'll help these kind of fall in more in the direction that I want them to go. And I know many of you are going to ask, I use a combination of command trips and tiny nails to secure my garland. The last thing you want to do is have your garland come down on you in the middle of the season. So um, that combo works for me, but you do have to be prepared to touch up the paint at the end of the season. So I'll start it about, let's try it right around here first. Honestly, already liking that better. More dramatic, I think. And then I'll put a little command strip there to tighten this part up to let it fall down this way. Very pretty. Yep, I like that a lot better. So that is what we will do. So now I'm just going to go through, get it nice and secure. Another tip I always love to share is about mirrored accents. Consider incorporating mirrored accents like a mirrored console table or mirrored frames. In this instance, an actual mirror, but it doesn't have to be a whole mirror. It could really be something as simple as a mirrored tray table on top of the console. Mirrors reflect lights and decorations and they create a sense of space and opulence. They're gonna be perfect for uh, some of the additions I'm making here, which are going to include crystal and pearl elements. Another tip that many of you have heard me share time and time again is to always be mindful of your lighting. It's always lovely to incorporate warm and inviting lighting. I particularly like to use the warm LED lights throughout the decor. It just creates a cozy and inviting atmosphere. You can also do that with candlelight, be they flameless candles or real candles. It's just a great way to create that um, theme of elegance and make your foyer feel like a welcoming haven. 
And finally, don't forget to pay attention to the subtle details. A couple of them come to mind for me. The first one is scented candles. Adding scented candles with a warm holiday inspired scent like cinnamon or evergreen definitely enhances the festive atmosphere. And they not only provide a pleasant aroma, but they contribute to the overall cozy ambiance. All right, guys, I'm going to put the finishing touches on this look. You know I'm not done yet. You'll have to come back to the 12 Days of Christmas to see the full tour. Speaking of the 12 Days of Christmas. All right, now before I say love and peace, I want to remind you to mark your calendars, subscribe to the channel, and join us for a joyous countdown to the holiday season like never before. Watch my community page. That's where I'll be making announcements to help you get ready for the most magical time of the year with my 2023 12 Days of Christmas series. I'll be bringing you 12 days of festive wonder, enchanting home tours, some DIYs, holiday recipes, and so much more. And this year, I'm going to make it as interactive as ever. I'm so exci excited to share this time with you. Let's get ready for the 12 days. Until then, love and peace.